Hey everybody, I'm back with another video, and a happy Halloween. So, my next video that's coming out should be really cool. Uh, be on the lookout for it, because I'm pretty excited to record it. Um, but yeah, I know this isn't the usual setup, sorry about that. Um, phone's about to die. So we're just going to like record while we're plugging it in, uh, so it's charging. And I can record, yeah, two birds, one stone sort of thing. So it's Halloween. So... What better way to celebrate than to watch Blade? Spooky. You. Um, so, yeah. I mostly got this because, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched The Wolf Den with uh, Will and Bob. And they talk about video games and comics. Uh, but uh, Will recorded a video, f I don't know, a few months ago. It's been a while. About Blade. Kind of like defended it. So... Um, yeah, I, I bought that. It's got, like, all four Blade movies. I didn't know there was a fourth one, but it's called House of Cathan. Um, but yeah, it's got all four of those. I'm pretty, uh, so it's, like, seven fifty, and I'm pretty excited about the new one that's coming out, because hopefully it's more, like, you know, cool. It's hard to say, because it's going to be a Marvel movie, so it could be more kid-friendly. You never know. Um, but yeah, Blade is kind of a big deal. It's a weird thing. Because, um, usually when people bring it up, like, it's, like, one of the big three. Because you got Blade, X-Men, Spider-Man. Those are, like, the big three that everybody talks about that changed the superhero movie landscape. Now, I don't know if I fully agree with that. Because I know that's the way, like, everybody says it. But also, like, I have a bit of a problem with that personally. Because, like, for one, like, people kind of forget about Blade, like... In my opinion, it's not really, like, a superhero movie, because it's a really generic movie. Like, if you haven't seen it, it's basically just, like, vampires, and it's, like, a regular action movie, in my opinion. That's just, you know, me talking, but to me, it's, like, just a regular, boring, generic action movie with Blade on the title. Um, and from what I've heard, the original Blade comics, like, back in the old days weren't very, um, like, cool, I guess you could say. Um, I haven't really read them. I haven't read the new comics. I haven't really read any Blade comics. So I have no idea of, like, the history or any of the mythology of Blade. But I've heard that they're kind of boring, and then when the movie came out, they adapted the comics to be more like the movies. Uh, so, you know. Uh, but to me, uh, I heard the second one's better because it's directed by Guillermo del Toro. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of boring, but I'm looking forward to the second one. And especially the third one, you know, I heard a lot of great things about that. So what could go wrong? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but yeah, I thought it was mostly just kind of like boring and generic in my opinion. But, uh, let's, you know, go into it. Let's, let's dive into it, shall we? Let's dissect the, the movie. So, um be like a bit of spoilers again I've been trying to like not do that as much because I've gotten some complaints from commenters that I spoiled too much of the movie but anyway so the basic plot is um you know it goes over Blade's origin and there's a guy um Deacon Frost that wants Blade's blood to um basically just wipe out humans from what I gathered again I got kind of bored because it is kind of generic uh, so what I gather is, like, he wants to get rid of humans and just, like, make everybody a, uh, he wants Blade's blood so, like, vampires can walk during the day and, like, everybody will be, like, a, like, a half-breed, I guess they're called, like, uh, kind of like Blade, because Blade, you know, he's got, like, all the strength of vampires and none of their weaknesses, like, garlic or the sun or whatever. So that's what Deacon Frost wants, you know, he wants to be, like, the top-tier vampire vampire apocalypse sort of thing um which to me if i like think about it doesn't make a lot of sense because like from what i i don't know if he wants to be the top tier vampire or he wants everybody to be top tier vampire but eventually if like everybody's a vampire then like then are you just like does everybody just like suck each other's blood because like if you run out of humans and you don't have any like victims to prey upon right maybe that's just me i don't know but it seems like Eventually, you're going to run out of victims. 
Um, so yeah, he wants blood, blood. That's like the basic concept of it, you know, origin, get the character started, that sort of thing. But uh, overall, it's um, not horrible. Again, like there's a lot of blood. It's uh, the fight scenes are pretty cool. Um, there's a kind of funny running gag with one of the characters uh, that Blade fights. You know, he like always comes back, so he's like, "Hey, Blade, look, it's me again." Blah blah blah. That sort of thing. Um, uh, and then we got, yeah, it's not, there's a few, like, weird, like, choppy 2000s editing techniques that are kind of outdated now, uh, that I don't like, it's like fast editing, fast moving sort of stuff. Those are kind of old, but, um, yeah, overall it's okay, there's some really bad, like, CGI near the end, um, but it's alright, um. There's this really weird scene that I wasn't a fan of, like, when he gets captured near the end, like, that whole, like, subsection, I guess you could say, um, because, again, like, spoilers, but, um, his, like, you see his mom, and she, like, uh, like, is the one to, like, kill him, but it's really weird the way she does it, in my opinion, um, she, like, rubs her her nose like on his lips I'm just like that's really weird and then like a blade loses like a lot of blood I'm not sure exactly what goes on when he loses the blood I don't know if it's like he's being crushed or something but he's like putting like a weird tube he loses his blood and then he uh bites the neck of this girl he's been hanging out with and it's like really weird and like sexual and I'm just like Okay, that's, that's kind of weird. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I guess, like, it's whatever, you know. But, I mean, alright. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird in my opinion. Um, but yeah, overall it's, like, a fine movie. Again, I don't think it's, like, as big a deal as some people are making out to be. Because to me, it's just, like, a boring action movie with the word Blade in it. But that's just me. Um... I might give it like a, I don't know, maybe like a C, like an average, just kind of like, it's fine sort of thing. But yeah, that's just my take on it. Um, if you want to watch it, again, if you can find this, I'd probably recommend it because it's like seven fifty, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's got all four movies in it. Yeah, I, I'd probably do that, um, unless you want to like rent them or something, I don't know. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have an opinion on Blade or comic books, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next comic book review. Happy Halloween and boo.